my fourth collaboration with Madeline. Um, in the previous three collaborations, uh, the pieces were presented in more conventional spaces, so like black box spaces. This is different because a huge element is the museum itself, the paintings um, moving through the space. So this piece was created uh, as a walking tour. And of course, uh, the performative elements, in terms of getting the actors into that mode, is not dissimilar to how I work with text usually, and it begins with the body. So there is a deep connection between the written word and the actor's body. And it tends to be two separate things, except the written word needs to be ingested by the actors. It goes into their bodies and then the words as they express it come alive in different ways. I use music a lot and I work closely with sound designers, in this case, Darren Ang. And music often heightens a space, it elevates performance. Actors have to work with the music and then they become much more aware of their body. They have to enable the text to cut through the music and, and deliver with intention and the right emphasis and breath through music. And it makes things uh, come alive. I like to also have a sense of play so when we play with props, so for instance, in the Georgette piece with the fans, I mean, honestly, we were in the rehearsal room and, and I felt like the actors needed something to hold in their hands and we had these fans and we were playing with it and then the idea emerged, so let's have the Georgette image on the fans and then the fans also then influence the way that they move and how they move together as an ensemble. And of course, there is an educational element as you're walking through the museum. Part of it is taking in the history and the art. And I wanted to include the children and particularly as themselves. I didn't, wasn't looking for actors, young actors who were polished. In fact, I just wanted young actors who were just going to be very raw themselves and there's something quite magical about that. Since Madeline had uh, written the poems in response to national language class, we wanted the young children to write their own poems too and, and hopefully that becomes an inspiration, you know, perhaps for younger uh, children, school groups to maybe have an, uh, an extended exercise if, 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 it was, if the tour was designed for them. Uh, to maybe then to be inspired to, to respond to paintings too, uh, to have an engagement with artwork beyond what you see before you, beyond what you read uh, in terms of the descriptions of the artwork, but to have a, a response to a personal take, and that's art, isn't it? Everyone has a perspective to art. And then, of course, for Olivia, I had come to know that she was a young person who really enjoyed art and, and creating art. And, you know, it had been shared to me that she, she was creating this self-portrait. You know, her mum sent me a, a, an image. And so then the idea came to, to include her in that moment. The, the poem was about Georgette's self-portrait. And so that was the connection. So again, young people, you know, dabbling with art and expressing themselves through art. So that's what uh, the young people were there specifically for. We came here on several occasions just to walk through the spaces and to get a sense of then how to organize the poems in relation to the space. We started to imagine where the audiences could be in relation to the works as well. You know, we took time to actually be in the space because I think it, it really shifts when you're seated in the theatre as opposed to being in the space. This, the context changes in the space and it becomes a character. Just like how, you know, music can be a character or lighting can be a character. The space becomes a major character interacting with the other personas that the actors have are embodying. It's the joy of the space, it's the inspiration that comes from 
the space. It's being awakened by a space and reawakened by the the artwork in a space, and 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 that's very inspiring for for a maker, for a theater maker, for an artist.